Hello friends, welcome back to a new episode of The Cheesiest Man Alive. And today I would like to show all of you the build order that account boosters use in order to uh, boost the accounts the fastest possible. So according to the account boosters, this is the quickest way to uh, go up the ladder with very little effort and having very little skill. For the people who don't know who, what account boosters are, there are people that sell the servers of getting an account into Grandmaster. Um, so you basically pay them and then they will get your account into Grandmaster. I never truly understood the purpose of it. To me, it sounds like you lose twice. You lose once when you buy the service because you're a little bit pathetic. And two, you're also losing money um, because you have to pay them for it. It's quite expensive. I want to say getting like a, an account to GM is like maybe 160 euros or something, 150. At least that's what it used to be back in the day. Um, so this is what I like to call the booster build, which is also known as the proxy forex. The way the proxy forex works is pretty simple. You send four SEVs across the map, and you proxy four barracks, and from there on out you build a crap ton of marines, and hopefully you kill your opponent. Eventually you can pull a couple of workers at it as well, and that's all good. Now this build has been around for a very long time. I believe this is the way they did it in Wings of Liberty and Heart of the Swarm as well. And I thought, you know what, maybe it would be fun to try this out, see uh, if we can get a couple of people with this. So currently my opponent is Revolution, who is a uh, British Zerg player. Uh, used to be pretty good back in the day, I think gotten a little bit inactive ever since. Uh, nice lad. And, uh, well, sadly for him, he's gonna have to uh, fight the proxy for Rex. Right? But, you know, whenever I cheese people that I know or that I really like, I always tell myself, you know, I'm just improving their cheese defense you know it's it's not a bad thing like i once read the what's this book called the psychology of tennis or something like that some some tennis teacher and he said if you continuously you know if someone has like a weak backhand and you continuously play to their backhand you're actually helping them out you know it is not a weird thing to do as a competitor or as a training partner you should always you know, uh, expose the weaknesses of your opponent. And as I'm a competitor, that's exactly what I'm doing here. Or in this case, I am seeing if there is a weakness there. Or, you know, if there's no no weakness whatsoever. And he's already completely safe against this. Very interesting, uh, nonetheless. Um, so far, he does not seem very bulletproof. Gotten a couple of links uh, down already. And I hardly lost anything. Now, this looks kind of bad because the, the spine got up. In reality, this is completely fine. I'm actually kind of okay with this. He's eventually going to move that bad boy up. Like, I can feel it already. The spine. So we pretend like we're going down. And then we go up. Because we can trick him into moving the spine. See? It always works. Oh. I'm not quite sure if we're fast enough, though. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, that was some good control, actually, out of him. Holy crap. Okay, I said nothing. He has the, the perfect response here. Now... This is where part two of our brilliant plan jumps into action. And that is the part where we sent all of our SCVs across. And sadly, that did get spotted here. It's a little bit unfortunate. Did I good luck him yet? Yeah, I did. Okay, well, just making sure. Otherwise, this would be the perfect time for a cheeky good luck. <laughs> you know what? Maybe, maybe, we should just, maybe we should just put it in for a second time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he saw it. I think he can appreciate it as well. He's a... Most British people have a sense of humor. At least something resembling a sense of humor. Um, I'm not quite sure how happy he's going to be <laughs> if I do win this game. But uh, I, I, have a, I have a bad feeling about this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not really feeling this uh, so far. Good scouting out of my opponent. Well done. Very nice. Okay, so what went wrong here? I think I built it maybe slightly too close. He had a good path here, honestly. Just found it with the second overlord. First overlord. There's very little spots to actually proxy on this map, I guess. At least the proxy for Rex. Maybe I just should have put it a bit further anyway. With this type of rush, it's more the surprise rather than the initial hit that you're really going for. Um, well, actually, you're going for both. The surprise and the initial hit. But the, the timing that you hit doesn't matter so much because you have too many marines if they don't figure it out in time anyway. All right. And that's unfortunate. Revolution is going to take us down. Um, we'll lose 25 points against him. And we're just going to... Oh, my God. Instant game here. That's just beautiful. Whew. Let's see if we can get him again or someone else. Garitos, 5.7. I'm literally only getting Pride of Altaris against these uh, Zergs. That is something else, isn't it? Okay, let's go. 
I, I like that position though, the, the low ground position. I don't think the high ground position is super useful, honestly. The low ground position is gonna do something for me. I can, I can smell it. Okay, here we go. Second one's gonna be sent out here as well. Just build a depot really close. That way we have to spend less money on the... Uh, you know, you, you save a little more money uh, when this bad boy walks back. I guess I'm just going to send her across the map anyway, so it's literally irrelevant. Never mind, I said nothing. Okay, oh, I really want to kill that Artiso Lope, but I know it's going to be slightly out of range. Come on, where are you, buddy? Should I? Okay, that's my fourth one. I'm not quite sure if I'm supposed to get a 16th SEV with this build. The booster build. Nah, no shot. No way these guys build 16 SEVs. There's always some of them... Uh, advertising in like the general chat as well i always wonder if it works it has to work i feel like getting a, an actual job might be more wor worthwhile though than that so like providing a pathetic service the people i'm not quite sure how great it is how would you even use it i wonder <laughs> we should just show your friends the accounts like hey i'm i'm grandmaster now i was like oh that's weird last week you were gold yeah I just practice a lot like all right you want to play a game yeah sure then you still absolutely destroy the guys like ah just a bad day that is literally just living a lie. I don't understand the point. If any of you have ever bought this and you now regret it or you don't regret it, please please feel free to explain it to me in the comments down below because I, I genuinely don't quite get it. I think part of the fun of getting the rank is that you earn it. No, like it's also not something that has any monetary gain. It's not like not you can't stream on that account either because you just lose every single game. Like there's literally no purpose to it. So I, I, I really, I genuinely don't understand it. That is uh, my thing. Like uh, With a lot of other things that I don't approve of, at least I can somewhat understand it. But boosting the accounts, I just I just don't see any payoff. You know, you're just losing money. But maybe I'm missing it. If you've done this in a different game, please feel free to share as well and tell me how this worked out for you. you know, maybe you're doing it to impress uh, you know, a love interest or something like that. That's, of course, a possibility. Maybe someone is really... Imp like someone that is very non-knowledgeable about the game but would still be impressed by a grandmaster logo i'm not quite sure how big the market is for that though it's like five people worldwide and all the people that are buying accounts are competing for the same five people yeah it's allowed okay here we go oh he must have spotted me somewhere he definitely must have spotted me somewhere Ooh, i can actually kill that huh yeah that's unfortunate do I just want to go up here and maybe build a bunker or something? I definitely don't want to build a bunker. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's double spines. Ooh, that's not great either, is it? I wonder if he's going to move down with these spines now or not. Oh, no, not again, buddy. That is very unfortunate. <laughs> I also want to kill these guys. Surely you need to cancel this. <laughs> Wait, what? Speed? Actually, lost one marine there. And I think I also lost an SCV. Oh, I don't want to show myself. I really want to kill this, though. So I'm just going to move around. Maybe it's an overlord again. That would be class. Come finish up, buddy. Can't wait. <laughs> no way! <laughs> Why would he do that? I should have let the hatchery live so I could... This is like a... This is like a brilliant scheme. He never would have figured it out. He's like, man, this guy keeps getting my... Oh, wait. Ooh. His movement was too far to the right. I was like, I, maybe I can do something there. Um, but maybe I can't as well. <coughs> We're gonna expand to the gold, I guess, right now. I mean, there's still the what you call them, the speedy boys. Nah, I don't think you're gonna get a creature tumor there, buddy. Just have a feeling you might not be getting that. Just this weird feeling that I have. You can actually kite this, by the way, if you perform very well with it. Look at this stuff. Oh my god, we're gonna get him. <laughs> What's up, buddy? Whoopa! 
<laughs> There's no shot, dude. Oh my god, we're gonna go forever. We're in it to win it, aren't we? Oh, I need to check if there's a third base or not, actually. Maybe there's like a, a hidden drone somewhere. That's also possible. Ooh, could go into a, a Nidus, too, couldn't you? Hoppa! So far, the booster built. Working like a charm. Absolutely working like a charm. Okay. Okay. I mean, no way he's gonna fall for this trick again, no? There's just no way. <laughs> no, right, there's no way. Okay, now he, this time he spotted it. Okay, okay. Maybe you can block him in the middle. Life is getting harder for me as well right now. Stim, maybe first? I think so. I don't want this thing to start burning, so we're just gonna send it back. I mean, we're just going to move around completely, aren't we? Oh my god, so many roaches. But we're just going to... To counter attack, aren't we? Oh no, I'm locked into main base. I was wondering why nothing was working here. I'm getting a couple of marauders here, by the way. Oh, you can see this. Oh, that's how he figured it out. I thought this guy was some type of genius, but just figured out because he had an overlord there. Oh, that's kind of lame, honestly. Yeah, I'm not so sure about all of this, honestly. Can we wait for that, I think? Maybe we can. I oh, almost typed something too. It's not my intention, honestly. It was not my intention. It's possible that he's going to try to walk up this ramp, isn't it? It's also possible he's going back home. He's gonna walk up this ramp. I think that might actually be a mistake, funnily enough. Because aren't you backing yourself into a massive corner here then? Unless he's gonna kind of camp the ramp. Which, you know, is also a possibility. He's taking out as many depots as he can. Oh no, don't want to lose that. Uh oh. Puro! But I have... I have the thing. I do have the thing. That was good for me. Was it? I still have a lot of income. Which is the main thing here. These guys have... Kind of fair amount of crap as well. Okay, well, maybe I can kite a little bit here. Okay, maybe we lost the game here. Is it still all on one base? I wonder, actually. Probably should have gotten the other thing first. The concussive shell, no? I wonder if it's still... I think there has to be two bases at this point. Please tell me there's a... Oh my god. Oh. <sighs> Second base. I should have gone into a factory and, uh, and a banshee rather than tech lab. I think if I had gotten a factory, even just a cyclone would have done the trick here, no? Oh, this was close. My follow-up wasn't tight. But I know that for the next time now. It was a fun game nonetheless. I appreciate that I played this, you know? I'm sad that I lost, but I'm happy that I got the experience. Because that is also worthwhile. You know, getting experience on how to lose. Very important. Okay, let's hop into our third game. I'm sure I can win with this at least once. All right, now we're getting Young Insane, a Protoss player. Um, never heard of this person before in my life. Curious to see uh, what Young Insane has in store for me. Whether there's a scout or not. Against Protoss, this build 
it's not very good. And when I say not very good, I mean it's proper crap. The reason for that is a, this thing called the shield battery. A shield battery is a real banger when it comes to defending this type of stuff. A real banger. Mm. We send out this one as well. Where can I proxy? Never quite sure. Like I, I know where I can build a single barracks, you know, but this is not a single barracks. Oh, he spotted that uh, that SUV, didn't he? Well, I hope he didn't. Well, it doesn't really matter. He's gonna figure it out anyway. I forgot to send my fourth one. Oh, that's extremely unfortunate. But also happens to the best. Maybe he's not scouting. I was also proxying. Seems somewhat unlikely now that I think about it. But he's not scouting. Maybe I'm being cannon rushed. This feels so much like a cannon rush, no? Oh my god, I'm being cannon rushed. You can't be serious. This is so extremely dumb. I love it! Um... Am I winning this? So let's do a little bit of theory crafting here. Okay, I'm drawing a blank. I think I can float away with my command center and genuinely be fine. I can't believe I'm being cannon rushed out of all things. That is extremely hilarious to me. Can I fight that? No, I can. I have quite some time left, by the way. I just like to to mention that. Before I need to go in with my, uh, like I can just pull these ones away eventually. Oh yeah, okay, we're definitely just gonna go in. Okay, you guys can just hold position somewhere else right now. Don't think he can reach me, can he? Oh no, he can reach that at least. Highly unfortunate for my opponent, or for me, I should say. Oh. I think it's a win, no? Okay, what do we do now? Do we just kind of move around here? Surely we we do that. Look at this. This is just beautiful. God, the range on Marines is just fabulous, isn't it? Oh, not that close. Okay. So eventually we're just going to A-move one of these cannons. Oh. I think I can actually A-move this cannon already now, can't I? And then we just take out this this base. Um, okay, let's actually get some more. Oh, forgot the GG as well, young insane. Good cannon rush though. This is actually how I would have done it as well. Pylon over here, cannon in the little in the little corner in the in the edge. Beautiful stuff, young insane. No GG though. Very unfortunate. That means we sadly have to add another no GG on the GG counter. Happens to the best. I will not blame him for that. 18 points in the pocket as well. So my opponent was 5.2k MMR. And we're going to try one more time. This wasn't the proper booster build though. Because I forgot my fourth barracks. I'm not sure how impactful that was. But I believe that it might have been slightly impactful. So I want to try again with, with the actual booster build. So I'll see you on game number four. Alright, we got a TVT. Now, I believe this build to be the worst against Terrans. But at the same time also be the best. Because very many Terrans don't scout whatsoever. So, if my opponent doesn't scout whatsoever, and I walk up the ramp with like 8 marines, I have a pretty decent chance of winning, I believe. However, if I get scouted, the game ends. Like, a single bunker will beat this. Like, literally, a Hellion and a Reaper will just destroy this. Any type of 2 gas builder will just, I think, straight up destroy it. In my mind, at least. Okay, I want to be a little further away. So, here they might scout initially with the Reaper. We're just going to build it along the edge. All along the watchtower. Okay. 
Not I don't want to build an eBay. I'm not sure why I did not that. I was very close to clicking as well. Like, oh yeah, eBay, that sounds like a great plan, Kevin. Why don't you build two? It's <clears throat> a nice little wall here, look at that. Never gonna get past. Well, actually, there's a massive hole here on the left side still as well. But I want to continue building here because I'm more afraid of a Reaper scouting this area than a Reaper scouting this area. Oh, look at that. We're actually finishing the wall on the bottom side. That's beautiful. Watch this Marine have to walk around the entire time. That would actually be sad. Now I just pray that it's not going to be something stupid like a scout. God, I hate those people that scout. Don't y'all hate those people that scout? Come on, you prick. One more Mariner. One more there. Not enough. Let me get this. Okay, it's a double gas build. This better be good. Okay. Please tell me it's gonna be a reactor as well. Please let me out. He's not gonna let me out. He's not gonna let me out. I repeat, he's not letting me out. How many marines should I save up here? I think ideally something like ten, no? Or if he hits me on the other side. But otherwise, I think 10. 10 sounds like such a good number as well. No! Crap! I was supposed to drop this on the depot. Well, in that case, we're going. And we need to lose units because we're not going to get any more. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. How is it possible that I have the brain of a freaking peanut? Oh my god. Peanuts don't even have brains. Come on, don't see it, don't see it. Don't see it, don't pay attention! Yeah, 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 yeah. One more, baby! One more, hit it, hit it, hit it. That was beautiful, that was beautiful stuff, Kevin, right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, come on, high ground. Come on, baby, we need to get the high ground. That's one. Okay, so we kill... Oh, no, no, no. Killed a lot of workers, though, didn't we? Killed a lot of workers, though. Didn't we? He's gonna be on top of the ramp here. No, he's not. Wait, why am I not producing... Continuously producing? This makes no sense. Good. He attacked it himself. I had to do nothing there. Come on. Come on, buddy. Let me attack you. Let me attack you. Come on. One more. That's that's class. That's absolutely class. He believes that he probably needs to save this. I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise me if he decides to come down here. Okay, we get one of these. Yeah, see. Can I tell you so? Oh yeah, that is just beautiful stuff. G that paws into the G. Well, the no GG. Crooks rain. Ooh. Whew. Oh, that felt great. You know what I think would not have been too bad if he gets a single mine and an armory. I guess I could scan it then. So actually, that would be really bad. Scratch that plan. It would have been terrible. God, what a dumb plan that would have been. 20 points in the pocket. Another no GG. And the boost build. I think it actually got us some MMR, but I'm not entirely sure. My mathematics skills have never been perfect. I'll let that to all of you in the comments. I will add this one in. For the 27 out of 47. Beautiful stuff. That's going to be it for me today. Thanks all so much for watching this episode of Cheesy's Man Alive. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like button, subscribe to the channel. By the time this video comes online, we don't have one 100k yet. But maybe we do next week. Thanks all for watching, and bye-bye.